everyone, welcome to Brenda's Brush Strokes and Mist live painting tutorials on Thursday, September 10th. And we usually paint our bisque boxes, but we are ahead because our box last month was our hedgehogs, which was an easy, easy dry brushing project. So this afternoon I was actually working on our video for our scarecrow stack. Um, so this is what it's looking like. Um, so we'll put him aside. Um, he is not finished. He is our October box. Um, along with him, we get, you will be getting this pumpkin. But we're working on the tutorials for the videos that are pre-recorded that you'll be able to access um, after your boxes ship. So he's got a little ways to go. We'll add to that recording, but that's where he's at. And, excuse me, this tonight, since we're ahead of schedule, we're going to work on our witch as an, just an extra um, painting tutorial for you guys. Quite a few of you got the witch. If you didn't get her, you could still have her added to your um, October box. You just have to send us a message and Courtney will add it to your invoice. So I had already base coated her black last week. And then I dry brushed her with our grape, our Duncan Vistain OS453 grape on her shirt and her hat and from there I went to her hair and did that with rust and so that's where we're going to pick up tonight at and then tonight we'll probably do I guess we'll just call it a little special session where you can ask questions um, whatever you want to ask ask us some questions it's been a whole year since we've been at this and you guys have been watching if there's something you want to know about um, pouring or firing or glazing or um, dry brushing, um, just any, any, any little questions you might have, brushes, um, just something ceramics related or whatever and you want to know that you think I might know and be able to help you, send us, post it in the um, comment section and Courtney will read it to me because I'm, me and all my wisdom, I didn't bring my tablet along, Courtney, I just realized that. Um, so she'll have to read the questions to me, and then I'll have to um, answer them. So, hello everyone, and thanks for joining us. And so tonight's just kind of a little freebie extra night. Um, so again, we're going to work on our witch, because a lot of you guys did get her, and if you still want to get her, you still can. Um, so I just added some of my rust, my DH28 Doc Holiday rust. Duncan also has rust you could use. Um, I kind of like the rust underneath my reds. Um, and her little hair is kind of orangish red and her ribbon is, uh, her bow is the kind of the orangish red. Um, so I wanted to get just a little bit more rust on her and I'm just going to dry brush across my little textures of her hair and her little ribbon. Um, so that's where we're going to start out at. Um, so your boxes are shipped. Uh, Monday was a holiday, so that's obviously going to put a little delay in getting them, although a few people have gotten theirs already. Um, on top of that, um, there's lots of comments about um, the Postal Service isn't as um, efficient or, what well, I don't know, whatever's going on, on with them, that um, there's some little issues going on there, so shipping is a little delayed. Um, just because things are being shipped differently than what they used to be with the new um, head guy there. So there's just different little things going on. So we just all have to be patient. And um, that's also why I didn't want to paint, start painting um, that box tonight. Because I knew a lot of you guys would not have your boxes yet by today. Um, I would think by Saturday or Monday at the latest, everyone except maybe Australia should have um, their boxes, or maybe Texas, Florida, and Michigan, they tend to get held up in those two areas as well. Any place else, Courtney, that gets held up that you can think of? Texas, Florida, and Michigan. Well, yeah, Courtney said Texas, Florida, and Michigan are likely culprits. Um, little culprits. Of, well, California's having wildfires, too. Oh, and California and the West Coast has some wildfires going on, so again, that could delay your shipping. That, that's all stuff that's out of our hands. We really can't. Um, there's not much we can do about it. Um, they are shipped. We keep an eye on our um, 
You should have gotten the email with your tracking number. You can tracking, that, that's an automatic generated thing, so you could click on that and track to see where it's at. Um, Courtney does also keep an eye on all that stuff to see if somebody's package is sitting somewhere, it got scanned or didn't get scanned. It's about 50-50 right now. Um, she said there's about 50% delivered and 50% waiting, so um, just be patient and the post office will get them there for you. I'm sure as we get into the Christmas shipping season, it's probably going to get a little worse before it gets better. Um, but they are shipped and can't wait for you guys to get them. We've gotten messages from those that have gotten them that they're really excited and so that's good to hear. So again, I'm just dry brushing my rust onto my little witchy girl here on any areas that are going to have red on them, including her orangish hair. Um, Courtney will keep me posted on what's, what's the comments because I didn't even think about bringing my tablet today. Kind of been um, kind of busy. Um, if you notice, we got the paint yesterday for our classroom, um, and we actually we got that the day before ready, and we painted there yesterday all day. Um, today we, I had some other things to take care of. Get got more paint because we do need more paint, and I'll be painting there um, again tomorrow and probably Saturday. So hopefully we can tie those loose ends up so that. Um, pictures that you see are of what's going to be the classroom. Um, we'll have limited BISC and Greenware available and we'll just keep building on that until it's more of a full service shop but at this time we're more of a it's going to be more of a classroom set up just to get started here with things. Um, we do have about 5,000 molds so you could always message us to see if you we have something, but it's kind of hard um, even to find time right now to even get that stuff poured. Um, I do know I need to pull the otter mold for our, our lady, and then um, Courtney was going to message the, about the alligator mold. The, the one is about a 12 inch one, and he's actually a clay magic mold. He's an alligator bird feeder, but he could be just a regular alligator. Um, so Courtney will message you the link um, where to look to see what he looks like. That's just easier than pulling the mold and taking the picture of that. So I'm just looking at my rust here and I want a nice even coat so that my red covers nice and evenly. If your rust is a lot in one spot and a little bit in another spot, you're, that's how your red is gonna cover. Um, so you do wanna have it more um, even, evenly, or equal amounts in all areas. Um, you don't want it splotchy and blotchy and patchy, however you want to explain it. So she's looking pretty even coated here. So let's see, Courtney's got my um, phone up here for me to see you guys' comments. So let me go to the top here. Um, Marie got her box. Let me see, Clara says hers is coming Friday. That's great. Um, what else we got? Oh, Jessica got hers in South Florida today. That's an early one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so, so they're, they're out there. They're coming. Um, it'll be a fun box. There's a lot of painting to do, a lot of details in those, but we'll, we'll get through them. You just use little brushes and um, just take your time. And oh, I'll get the videos up tomorrow. Um, we do have the videos recorded for those, the pre-recorded videos, but we have been extremely busy with the shop and... Um, well, I should say the classroom. We're, we're calling it the classroom and not the shop because it's not going to be a full-blown shop probably till April or May because we have we have to deal with the boxes first. So that's our main priority. Um, but Courtney will, um, the videos are recorded and she just needs to get them edited a little bit. Um, we had trouble with one of them recording and then she'll get them on YouTube and will be, they be on Facebook too? Turn me on website. Uh, oh, they're going to be on our website, Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bist.com. So you can go to either one of those two places, and you'll be able to um, watch the videos and paint early if you if you want to do that instead of waiting. Um, but she's going to need a day or two um, yet to get to that. So she's actually staying home and not helping paint tomorrow, um, so she can take care of that for you guys. So um, hopefully that's something you're looking forward to. Some of you that. Maybe can't do Thursday nights or whatever. So that's how that's going. 
Oh, and Kim got hers in Minnesota, even a day early. Well, that's even better yet. <laughs> yeah, better than a day late, Courtney says. So we have our um, thrust on there now. So let's see, we're going to go with, get some um, out of frame. Well, hold tight, guys. Courtney's trying to eat, trying to eat supper. We're um, running late here today. So is that better, or do I need to move? So we're going to let Courtney adjust things here a little bit for a minute, and then there's a little delay, so I'll have to wait and see. Thank your sister for that one. Oh, so thanks for letting us know we're out of frame there, so hopefully we're better. Okay, that looks better. So it looks like Kim got hers in Minnesota, Amanda got hers in Fort Worth. That must be in Texas, right? Mm -hmm. So well, that's cool, you guys. So that, that's not too bad for shipping then. Alrighty, so we're going to go to our little red um, ribbons and bows. Actually, we're going to go to the hair first because the hair is lower than the, um, than the bow. So we will go to the hair. Actually, no, I was going to go to the bow. Nope, we're going to go to the hair. Um, we're going to go with some hot orange because we kind of want some, well, let's see, i got to think about this a minute. For we kind of want to some reddish orange hair. So I think I'm going to go with just a little bit of real red. So I actually haven't painted her before, so we're just going to kind of play it by ear on her. Um, so we have our real red OS483. And we'll get just a little drop here. Oh, and Linda even got hers in Smoky, California. That's great. Not so great about the Smoky, but great that you got it. So I'm just going to grab my real red with my same rust colored brush here. And we're going to get our real red on our hair so we can kind of give her a reddish um, tint to her hair. And I'm just brushing really careful and light by her face and around by her hat so I'm not getting that real red all over it. Um, so if anybody's got any questions about anything, the bis boxes or you know, any, anything you guys can think of, if you need a suggestion on how to do something, if you're having trouble with something, kind of, kind of just a good extra night opportunity um, to have those kinds of things out there and maybe get answered, something you wouldn't probably bother to ask otherwise because we're painting on a box. Um, just shoot us a little comment and we'll see what we what we got. What we can do to help. So I'm just getting some red on here. Just give her that little bit of reddish orange um, hair look. So we're going to put that red underneath and then we'll go to our oranges I think. And we'll go ahead and get the red on our bows because it's the Clay Magic picture had a red bows, so we're just going to go with the red, kind of red and purpley. And I'm just brushing across all the little textures and building up the red. So, and her hair comes all the way down, the little curly cues come all the way down on the bottom of her skirt here. So let's see, anything else is going on? The weather made a huge change here in the last week, which is normal for us. We kind of went from 90 degree summer to 50 degree late fall. So I'm just brushing away here. I gotta turn her in different directions to get to the different little angles. Keep grabbing my real red and brushing it out. And then carefully brushing on these little curly cues so I don't get the red on the purple. I'm using my size 5 brush. You could switch to a smaller brush if that's easier for you. You're always welcome to change brush sizes or paint colors. Um, whatever you want. Whatever makes it easy for you. So just brushing away here. And we did finally get some rain here the last two days yesterday and... Just a little bit today, not a whole lot today. Just working that red in there, covering up the rust. 
leaving the black in the crevices. And just kind of have my brush turned on its edge to go along the purple layer and along her face and not get it all over everything. You can always go back and touch up if you want or if you need to. So Linda says they have lots of fires there with raining ash from the fires. Oh, that's terrible. Um, I did see some pictures. I don't know how the fires all got started, but um, it looks terrible. Hopefully they get them out sooner than later. Let me see. They were putting fall or Christmas stuff out in the store today when we went and got the rest of um, some more paint. So I think we're going to go right from summer to Christmas. Cordy says she hasn't seen much fall. No, it just kind of went right from summer to... There's been some Halloween stuff out, though, I think. Um, nothing for Thanksgiving, but they were definitely putting out Christmas. Not really ready for that yet. We're just working our red over our rust, just, just gentle little strokes, keeping it off the face and off the purple hat. And we got our, her ribbon done here in the back. That's around her hair. And now we'll do our ribbon up around our um, hat. And I just gotta do little strokes so I don't get the red on my purple. I start away from the crevice where the purple and the hat, the ribbon meet and then just nudge right up to it and we kind of got to keep turning her around to get into the different little areas here and Debbie got hers in Michigan already too that's good because they can Michigan I know tends to be kind of one of our late late delivering sites too That's pretty good because with the Monday holiday, they got it, um, got them already, so that's I good. Thought Friday would be the first day. Courtney thought Friday would be the first day you guys would start getting them, but I think we had a couple get them ready yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. So. The Wisconsin ones. The Wisconsin ones, yeah. So we need a little more red here for the ribbon on her hat. I just grab it with my brush and brush it out on my paper towel. Is it a big version of this? Huh? Is there a big version of um, this? Cordy asked if there's a big version of this little witch girl. I don't think so. I mean, there's other witches, but I don't right. think of her. Not like the mummy and the vampire and stuff. But I'm not sure. Let's see, all the rest of our molds are finally dry. Um, which would be our Yeti molds, our um, trailer molds, our all our gnome molds for Christmas and for thanks not Thanksgiving for Halloween. Well, I guess you could say Thanksgiving because we have the pumpkin ones. But he's been dry because some of you guys got that in the box. Um, so if you want any of those, you can just message us and Cordy will add it to your invoice. And all the Halloween ones. Too. Um, so there's four Halloween ones from last year. We have those. Um, they're dry. I'm going to try to pour those Sunday because I'm painting um, Friday and Saturday at the classroom. And I'll only have time to pour the box molds, the scarecrow and the pumpkins. Um, so we will be, I will be pouring those hopefully on Sunday and Monday. Um, so if you want to get on the list to get those and shipped in your box, added to your invoice and we cover the shipping, you'll have to send us a message and I know Cardi has a couple already on the list from earlier. I have to see how big them are. She's got it. Um, Cardi does have to see how big they are to see how many she thinks she can get in the box. I think they're all on the bigger side. Yeah, they're, um, the two Christmas ones are very big. They probably will not fit in the box um, even by themselves. Um, I think the Halloween ones will though. And then we have the 
Yetis. Oh, oh. You got the Christmas ones, too. Yeah. Like the tree with the Christmas tree. Yep. And so we actually have all the Christmas gnomes, including last year's and the bigger versions of them. Um, so I'm going to actually try to get all that stuff poured Sunday and Monday and get pictures to Courtney. So we have our red on there. So now I think we want our little girl to have orange hair. So I'm actually going to go to our hot orange OS 439. Oh, so Clara says she wants to paint her truck red. So would I brush dry brush it rust and red? Um, yes, that's what I, I always use rust under reds or oranges. So I would dry brush it with rust first and then whichever red, whether it's barnyard red or... Um, the garnet red or the real red, any, any of the reds, I always put the rust under. So now I'm just grabbing my bright, my hot orange, I'm sorry, and using my same red brush. And now we're going to um, lightly brush her red hair here and see if we can get it more of an orangish red. Get that little bit of a red undertone to it, so we'll have to build that up. And I'm just doing my little strokes here, bringing it right up to her face. And then we do have the um, campers that go behind the truck as well as the trailers, the trailer that they came out with. And then, um, let's see, the Yeti that goes in the trailer and the... I think there's some Christmas gnomes that go in the trailer. We, we do have, have all those too, and they're all dry now, so. Yeah, to get the Courtney says, I gotta get the pour, and in between painting the classroom, we gotta do that. So I'm just brushing my um, hot orange right over my red here. So I just wanted it to have a little more of a red tone to it. Oh, Mary's watching how our video got like broke down that like. Um, so Courtney said to tell you, Mary, Mary P. that we uh, bought the shop lights today. Um, so I'm not sure when we're going to get those hooked up, but we do have some nice LED um, shop lights coming. And we also have five more gallons of paint. And then we also have the darker gray that we were going to put on the fireplace and the beams on the ceiling. So that should be fun. And then we've got the five gallons of that wall color so we can get the second coat on there and then on our front porch area too. So that's our plan for the next two days is more painting over there and get our classroom set up. And then I'll be working on some projects, samples, at some point. <laughs> So we can have a few classes through maybe one yet in September and then um, through through October, see what we can do. I'm actually thinking about doing something that's not ceramic even, a, a door hanger that would be the, a pickup truck looking at it from the back end. So that might be kind of fun. And we got to get some more hot orange because we got to do her little curly cues here on the bottom. And I'm just going to brush real lightly so I'm not getting my hot orange onto my purple or onto my red bow. So let's see, what else did we get when we were at the store, Courtney? Rebates. Oh, rebates. <laughs> yeah, they don't have sales, they just got rebates. Well, so we got rebates to mail in, which um, we may actually use those for another row of lights, so that could be good. Mary, no, Mary, we're not starting at six. <laughs> I'll have to pour scarecrows and snowmen before I come. Um, we'll probably start at nine. Nine-ish. Um, Renee did send me a picture of it all nice and dry this morning, and it looked really nice. Um, she thought it had a hint of blue to it instead of with the gray, but it's, um, the paint actually looked white in the bucket. Um, but it's a gray, what was it called? Boogalo gray? Boogalo gray? Boogalo gray. gray? So, it's a very whitish gray. We wanted it to be a neutral color. That's why we picked 
um, gray, because if you look on your color wheel, um, gray is actually the, the neutral color instead of black or white, because that's the opposite ends of the color wheel. Um, so if you're painting, um, and that's reflecting on, onto your piece with the light, the gray should actually be more of a neutral color and not um, misguide you with what you think the color of your piece looks like. So that's why we're going with gray at the shop. Um, there was actually a, a reason for it, because actually I, I, I like blue and I would have did blue, but uh, because gray is on the neutral, kind of the center of that neutral um, color, that's why we went with gray to help hopefully help make it easier for our painters. You can see we kind of get in that reddish orange look to her hair here, which is just what we wanted. So Connie wanted yellow. Um, where, where's the yellow, Connie? We found some yellow for you. It's in one of the rooms. Which room was it in? The kitchen, Courtney? Oh, there was yellow. Oh, yeah, there's yellow in the kitchen. Yep, the kitchen is yellow, Connie. So that that's your room. <laughs> so we're going to name that the Connie room because it's yellow. So I'm just brushing out my little hot orange hair and building it up, getting rid of that red. But yet it's going to have that kind of a red undertone to it. And just brushing real careful to not get orange all over the place. So that's looking pretty good to me. So from the hot orange, we're going to go to some orange peel. So we have OS 438 orange peel. Um, so we're going to shake that up a little bit and then get us a little drop. So we're going to brush that out, work it up into our brush. Um, so I, I don't know if we're going to highlight her hair with yellow. We're going to start with the orange peel here first and see what that, that does for us. That might be the color we're looking for. So we have a question. Lisa says, what's the best way to remove brush hair that mixed in the paint and ended up on the bisque? Um, yeah, that's kind of hard. You can maybe take a, a tweezers or you can rub on it. Um, if, if it's like really stuck in there and you can't get it, you could try to take a piece of sandpaper, but then you're going to like a really fine sandpaper, but then you're going to have to go back and um, kind of repaint um, what you sanded off. I mean, I, I would try the tweezers first because it's probably going to leave, even if you pull it off, it's still going to leave um, probably a mark where it was and you're probably still going to have to go back and do some painting where it, where it came from. So you could use, you know, if it just, you can't get it off with the tweezers or rubbing it, I, I would try a little piece of sandpaper. So we're just highlighting her hair here a little bit with this um, orange peel. You can see it's getting, it's coming along. I'm letting it a little bit darker with the hot orange and the red up under the hat because that would be shading it some. And we're just bringing it around here. And I got a little on her face, but that's okay. We can go back and touch that up. And get her little curly cue here in front. And just work our way back around again. So let's see, we have any other questions? Um, well, so we have a little speaker trouble going on. Um, Courtney went in the other room and she could hear okay because I could hear her. I'm just going to build up our orange peel a little bit more on the high spots. And we can't forget her little curly cues on the bottom here. Um, we do. Courtney does do the upload to YouTube with the closed captioned. Um, so if you know anyone that needs to use that, you can always let them know that they can watch our videos with that. 
I think she um, listened and there's a couple words that the closed captioning doesn't like. One is when I say Courtney and the other one is when I say the word bisque. So, Courtney says to talk louder. Okay, we'll try that. I don't know. So we can see we're getting her hair a little bit more of that, a um, little bit lighter color here. Anyone else having trouble hearing? Um, Mary you sounded distant. I sound distant? I know, I got the phone right over, right here in front of me. I felt like you were talking quieter than normal. Cordy thought I'm talking quieter than normal. Maybe I'm just getting tired. It's Thursday. <laughs> uh, it's probably, it's been a long week since last Thursday. A lot's been going on. Um, so, okay, well, See if I can focus on talking louder. Um, so I'm just using that orange peel, highlighting this hair a little bit more. Uh, I'm, I'm liking it pretty much. I like that red underneath there, and then our hot, hot orange, and now the orange peel. I think I may add just a little bit of yellow just to see what we. So Wanda says it sounds good there. And I'm not sure. So I'm going to just try to highlight the very tips here a little bit more with our orange peel. Just keep building it up. And we'll get the tips on our curls. And it's probably just me because, like I said, it's been a long week since last week with boxing the boxes and uh, painting. Normally I probably would have painted all night at the classroom until the next day but I, I was a good girl and I didn't do that I went home at six but I did take molds apart when I got home and stuff like that but at least it wasn't an all-nighter like I normally would have done like 10 years ago but that's what happens when you get old so Mary says it's better than when I'm talking louder okay I feel like I'm hollering though <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with just a little bit of yellow and see what happens. Like I said, I haven't painted her before so, um, tonight, so we're just kind of going to go with it. So we have our pale yellow, OS433, and we're just going to highlight it, I think, just a little bit with the pale yellow. We're just going to get a drop of it. I'm going to use my same um, orange brush and just dip in that yellow, that pale yellow, and see if we can just get a little kiss of yellow to her yet. Um, so I want to brush really, really lightly because I don't want it um, real, a real strong yellow like what I just did. So I'll wipe that with my little fingers, and I think I'll turn her the other way. And I'm just going to brush really, really light just to highlight that just a little bit with that pale yellow. And that's looking pretty good, I think. Just brush really, really light. It doesn't take much. I'm like barely touching the piece. But it's just getting that nice little, just that little lighter shade to her. So it looks pretty good. I'm just going really light. Huh? Courtney says I was just mumbly before. Uh, like I said, I am a little tired because I did, um, I was recording our, that scarecrow video, so maybe I just like talked too much already today. So, so I'm just going with this lemon peel just a little bit and I'm actually liking it pretty good. It's given it just a little more, um, I don't know what to her hair, but it's, you can see this is a little bit brighter than down here, so I'm, um, I'm liking it. I like how it just kind of... Maybe gives it a moon glow or something. Just right on the, just on the edges, just a little tiny bit. I think the, um, um, we see the, the lemon peel would have been too bright, so we used the pale yellow. And that seems to be just enough to highlight the center of those, those little curly cues and. So is that what you were looking for, Connie, with the yellow on it, I hope? After you make the PDF, don't. Huh? 
Um, Courtney has to do the PDF for this little girl yet because like I said tonight's the first first time I painted her so she's just keeping track of what we're doing and oh, I'm not keeping track. oh she's not keeping track she <laughs> says she'll have to come back and and redo it she'll have to come back and make a list so I'm just barely touching the the highest spot like of her little curly cues here in the front with that pale yellow and it's just enough to give it a little like a little life to it and you do have to just keep turning her so you can get into all the different little angles. So we'll just, I think she's got just about as much as I would like her to have. What are you guys thinking? They like her. They like her? All right. It's just a little bit of that uh, pale yellow right through the high, high pot parts. Maybe a little more on her little curl up here in front. And a little bit more on the side. So I think she looks pretty good with her hair. It's not really, um, it's just a good little color. So I think I'll get just a little bit more on her little curl up here in front that's probably got a little more light hitting it and right along the side of her face here. Well, that's how that gives her a little ink. Gives her a little oomph. Yep, that's what we need, a little oomph. Well, that's what I need, I guess, because I'm talking like a mumbling baby or something. Uh, like a tired woman. Like a tired woman, Courtney says. Maybe I should have had the Mountain Dew, but then I'd be up all night. Yes. So I'm just giving her just a little more yellow around her face just to kind of just give her a little brightness. So I think that's good. I don't want to get too much. Um, so we have our little um, red on her bow. I think I'm going to come back and give that just a little bit more. We'll go back to our real red. And i got to grab some paper towel here. Well, Mary says she likes it. All right, so I guess we're good on the hair then. Wanda likes it. Clara loves it. Good. So we went back to our, we'll let the hair alone so I don't wreck it. And I'm just going to come back and touch up my red on my bow where I got the orange on it and I'll just give it a little more color. So that's the real red. And I'm just using my same brush I was before, my size 5. You could go with a smaller one if you wanted. We'll just touch up her bow here, give it a little more color to the red. We did get a little bit of orange on it, so we want to touch that up. And let's see, maybe a little bit more on the hat part here. Just has a little bit of a dull look to it. So we'll just build that up a little more. So that looks pretty good. And I think we can go back to her, let's see, we'll touch up her purple, her grape. So I'm going to go back to my OS453 grape and do a little bit of touching up. And we'll grab a new brush because it's kind of a different color a little bit. Mary and your sister at the same time asked if you're putting glitter on there. Oh, so the ladies want to know if we're adding glitter to this little beauty. Well, let's see. Maybe Courtney can go dig out some glitter for us, some some Halloween or purpley glitter. So I'm just going to use my um, size 1 brush here and kind of touch up my grape where I got any red on it. Um, she definitely looks like she needs some glitter, don't she? Um, I actually didn't get to see all the glitter colors when we stocked stock those but I seen a couple when they went in the boxes and there's some pretty cool colors and I know we're out of some of them um, hopefully we can be get those restocked the next month we'll have to see how things go um, we got our second batch of paint today and then the shop lights um, I need to get tablecloths yet um, we got the chairs last week or the week before that was a pretty big expense 
Um, so we'll, we'll see how we can do if we can restock all our glitter that um, so we have the full line again. And so Courtney's coming with some glitter. Connie's wondering if we're getting glitter. They all want glitter. Um, I thought maybe you were going to get the brush on glitter. No. No? We don't have any? Okay. That's a popular color. If you have purple in there, that'll probably work. Red? On her bow. On her bow? Okay. So I'm just working my purple around her little hair here to get it touched back up. It's actually the grape. It's not purple, it's grape. So Cordy brought us some glitter. We'll have to see what we're going to do with it. Um, what do you guys want the glitter? She brought me purple and red. Silver and, and she brought me silver and white, but I don't know if that's going to fit anywhere. Um, she said to put the red on the bows. That's what Mary put. That's what Mary put? It just looks nice with red glitter. Okay, well, we'll see then. So I'm just going to touch up my grape here, wherever the little... Um, dresses so we don't have red all over it and orange. How does it look with the candy napkin? <laughs> well, the napkin is quite a sight, isn't it? Abstract. Abstract? Oh, maybe it's worth a million dollars. Let's frame it. I could use it, especially this week. What else? We took care of our liability insurance. We took care of switching the utilities. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of behind the scenes things that have to go on just to open a classroom. Paula said he just got cancer. <laughs> well, that's cute, Paula. Thank you. I'm just working our purple back around our or grape, I don't want to call it purple eyes, but it's really grape. Back around our hat where any of any of the um, orange got, or the red. And I must be out of screen, I'm getting the thumbs up pointing here. Yeah. I'm just working that grape on there wherever there's red or orange where it shouldn't be. So you do have to go back and kind of um, touch your pieces up a little bit here and there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now I do notice that I have her little, her collar around her in the perp, in the grape, and I think on the Clay Magic picture they have that in red too. Um, I think maybe we can put purple glitter on there. How does that sound? Just to jazz her up a little bit instead of the red. On the bow, no red, no nothing around the neck. Do you want the the collar to be in the red too? Because it's red on the clay magic picture. It needs something because it's blending you in with the. Offer me purple and expect me to wear a different. <laughs> I can't offer you purple. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually go with purple. Um, OS four five two purple, and we're going to do a little highlighting. That will fix that little problem. So we got OS four five two purple. And we're going to highlight our little dress a little bit to make sh make it look like the moon is shining on her. Probably do her little hat there a little bit too. Um, so I'm going to brush that out and I'm just going to stay with my little brush. Gently brush on my little collar here and get it a lighter shade. And we probably have to come back and touch up the grape, but that's all right. What? My desktop is freezing up. Cordy says her desktop is freezing up. I um, I see we could have a possible frost advisory for us for tonight. So now I want to think about where the light would be hitting the high spots on her dress. So there'd probably be a little bit um, through this top ruffle here. So we'll put a little purple on there like the moon is glowing on it. So I just brush real light and just kind of keep building it up. Bring it right down to the bottom here a little bit and come to the bottom a little. And we'll get a little more. I think we'll have to do a little lilac even. 
just to bring it out just a little bit more. And what color should the kitty be? Black? Leave him as a black kitty? Usually Halloween cats are black, aren't they? Yeah. We'll just keep building this up a little bit just to, like we got some light shining on her little dress here. Bring it around. I'm just brushing real softly just to build that up. And then we'll, oh, and the kitty's got a bow on too. I wonder what color we should have did that in. Any suggestions? He could have a purple bow, huh? Yeah, but too much. Huh? Too much purple? Too much purple? Well, what color then? So I'm just getting my purple on, on the other side of her dress. There's kind of a little ruffle here too, so we'll get that. Kind of highlighted. Okay, Cordy says ask what color for the bow on the kitty. What color? So she said you guys will tell us. I said um, purple glitter on it, but well, she said to highlight, highlight her sleeves. Yep, we're going there. So just bring this around a little bit on the side here, just so it kind of is gradual. And we'll probably get some on her hat too. See, make sure I got it brushed out good. And we'll get some purple on her sleeves here. Just up onto the side a little bit. And bring it down here. So you want to think about where the light would be hitting her when you're highlighting with your lighter color. So just kind of sweep it through there. Bring it down onto the little cuffs a little bit. Oh, Lisa says silver, Clara says red. Let's see, this is a little chunk choppy over here. I think I gotta smooth that out a little more. I kinda like silver. Courtney likes silver on the cat? Okay. And then we'll come and do our other sleeve. You just want to think about where the light would be hitting it. So I'm just kind of going through this sweeping motion on the cross, the top of her sleeve, and across the top of her forearm, and then kind of down around the front of the little cuff thing. And we need a little more. And that was too much. Give it all a little bit more. Just kind of even it out. Brush nice and lightly and just keep building it up. Go back from one to the other. That way it dries and you can come back and it'll just keep taking the color for you. And we need a little more. So we have two silvers, we have an orange, we have a red. Three silvers. Oh, I gotta count you. Cordy says I gotta count her if she wants silver too. So just getting our purple on here to highlight her little sleeves. Couple oranges. Couple oranges. That's kind of a good idea. Black and orange cat. Yeah, or, you know, that'd be good too. orange with the Halloweeny color. Just building up our highlights here a little more. Kind of make her look kind of magical. Um, so Kelly says, what paint do you use? I'm using um, Duncan tonight and a little bit of Mako sometimes and then our Doc Holiday, very little Doc Holiday because we have trouble getting Doc Holiday. Um, but they are ceramic branded paints made by the ceramic companies for painting on ceramics. Um, it is a better quality paint than the box store um, acrylics, they go on much better, cover much better, um, level, they have a, like self-leveling in them so you don't have, you don't see a lot of brush strokes on the smooth surfaces because they just kind of um, smooth themselves out. Um, so they do cost more but they're definitely worth, um, worth the cost, they're less frustrating 
um, when you're trying to do shading and things. That's one of the things I've, um, people will message me like they're having problems and um, it's usually the, the paint is the problem or, or the brushes, but a lot of times it's the paint. So I'm just going to actually go right around the whole bottom of her little dress here just to highlight that whole bottom a little bit like the, the moonlight is kind of shining on it that'll just kind of give it a little bit of pizzazz. Do we ever use the Kimple or Donahue? Um, so Cordy asked if I've ever used the Kimple or the Donahue's. I've used the Donna's Hughes colors before. Um, it's just that they're only little one ounce bottles and I kind of go through a lot of paint so I kind of like the two ounce bottles better. Um, I haven't used the Kimple in years, but I have used it before. Donna has a big color range. Um, yeah, Cordy says Donna has a big color range. They do. It's just that they're little bottles. They're only they're half the size of these. So they're they're all good paints when they're made by the companies for the ceramic um, by the ceramic product companies. They're always they're just a better quality of paint. I'm just going to get a little more of the purple to highlight around the bottom of her dress here. I just want that to look a little kind of magical, I guess you could say, with the light shining on it. You can kind of see how that's just adding kind of that magicalness to it, or brightness, or life, or pizzazz. And we're going to do that same thing with her um, hat. So I have this sleeve a little lighter than the other one, so we're going to get this one lightened up a little more too, just to kind of go with that one. So Courtney says we got a question. Let me take a look here. So our question is, how long have you been doing ceramics and how long have you been dry brushing? Um, I've been doing ceramics for 39 years. Um, I started when I was in the Army at Fort Shafter in Hawaii. They had a craft shop you could go to and you had to take a class to be able to use the um, stuff there. And at that time, the main um, products that you used were glazes and underglazes. Um, they had some acrylics. Um, they did have other acrylic products too, like the pearlescents and the metallics. Um, those kind of went by the wayside here since probably the 1990s. They're hard, hard to get. Um, then dry brushing kind of um, came in around then. And that's probably when I started dry brushing, probably in the 1990s till now. Um, I liked doing the underglazes and the glazes too. Um, I rarely underglaze anymore though. It's just probably mainly, mainly the dry brushing is what I do um, when I was doing craft shows. It's mainly dry brush stuff. So I'm going to actually kind of highlight around my kitty here a little bit in the front of her dress because the front would be getting a little more light and that's going to actually make our black kitty stand out a little bit more. Um, glazes, glazes are fun too. You can... Um, like for pumpkins and trees and um, garden things, mushrooms and, and those kinds of things. Um, I took China painting classes too. Um, that's a powder paint that's mixed with a, a medium and then you paint on your porcelain pieces. And then they're fired and you do layers and layers um, to get the final piece that you want. So I hope that helps answer that a little bit. So now I'm going to go to her, her little hat here and the light would be hitting the top of her hat for um, a lot. So we'll get the top of her hat. So you want to think about where the light would be hitting it the most. So it's probably going to be like the very top, say if this moon was shining, all at the top of her hat would be getting the most of the light. So we're going to highlight that with our purple and kind of bring it down the side a little bit. 
and then also the brim of her hat would probably be highlighted a little bit. Um, so we're just going to really gently brush on the very brim here. And you want to bring it around underneath just a little bit, not much, but just a little bit. And then you also want it to come up onto the top a little bit. And so we'll work our way around the brim here. And that's just going to give your piece more, um, just more shape and life to it. Otherwise she was looking kind of blah and boring with just that um, great color on her, on her outfit. So we're just giving it shading and making it kind of come to life. And I will have more of the purple right at the rim and then less as it goes away on the top and the bottom. So we'll just keep dry brushing right around the rim of her hat here. And you can just see how it's just like, like there's more going on here than back here where there's just the, the plain grape color. So that's why we're we're just adding that highlight to give it more life. So just keep going around. So um, Cordy will do the tutorial on this one and then that will be available as our birthday present or Courtney's birthday present to you guys. It'll be on Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque. Um, dot com under the resources tab and you'll be able to just go right on there and um, click on it and then you can print it or download it. Um, so that's kind of our her birthday present to you guys. She'll um, write down what I did and print it out and take a nice picture of her and uh, make the little file of it and get it posted on there and then you guys will have access to it. So we're just going to work our way right back around to the front here. Getting more on the very edge of the brim and less as it goes away on both, both directions, top and the bottom. And a little more on the top than the bottom because the top would be getting more light than the bottom. So we're just about back around here. want it nice and even. So just keep going until you have it nice and even. Meaning you don't have a lot here and a little here and a lot here. You just want it like the even amount all the way around. And we'll probably get just a little more on the very peak here where it's kind of lifted up like the light would be there would be more light right at that peak, peak top part there. And the same with right on the top in the right in the front because the light would be hitting that a little more. So we'll bring it around here a little bit. So you, sometimes you have to go around a couple times. You just want to build it up nice and slow and just little layers. Get that kind of bright right here in front just to kind of really bring life to her. And then we'll kind of fade it out as it comes down around. And then I want to come back, <clears throat> excuse me, back up here on her little top of her hat like this moonlight's really shining on there. And just kind of work it around here. I'm just brushing up and down, back and forth, nice and light, going across the little texture there in the top of the hat where it's kind of bent over so I can leave that great color down in there. That gives that shading to make that look like that's folded over. And then we kind of have the rounded part of the top of our hat, so we want that to be kind of nice and bright and then fade out as it goes away from it because the light would be hitting the very top of that the most and then kind of fade it out as it comes down the side. 
So that's looking pretty good there. Maybe a little bit more around here. And that looks pretty good. So I think I'm going to highlight her just a little bit more with our it's lilac, if I can locate it. Let's see, where'd lilac go? I should have some. Can you see lilac, Courtney? No, I'm not seeing it. We should have some in here. I don't see it. Hold on, we're looking for the lilac. I made off with it? I don't think so. Is it on one of the shelves? No? Hold on, we're looking for lilac. It should be here. Because we've used it before, right? Hold on, everyone. Courtney's going to go get us a new bottle of lilac because it seems they have gotten legs. Um, so while she's doing that, I'm actually going to um, touch up her face with our flesh color that we used, which is probably our peach fuzz, I think. And that's ivory. Um, peach fuzz, we're going to touch up our face with peach fuzz while she's getting us some lilac. So I'm just going to get a little pile of peach fuzz. I'm going to get a little brush my size one round and a new piece of paper towel. And we'll just dip in our piece, peach fuzz here and touch up our face where we got the orange on it and the red. Thank you. If anybody gets a lot of like in the box or the tote thing, let us know. So Courtney says this, one of you guys get a lilac in your box that's open let us know because we must have it's um, oh i bet you it's in that box for the next box courtney that's what it is never mind i'm guessing we just found it huh not in there either no that's where it should be i think because i have the next box of um set of colors pulled in a separate box um, it's for the for our September box, I have those pulled and ready to paint with um, next week. If anybody gets an open bottle of lilac. So if someone gets an open bottle of lilac, let us know because it seems to be missing in action here. I'm not sure where I, I don't. I didn't take any paint home, so. Um, so if you happen to get a bottle of lilac and it was open, oh, she just found it. Where was it? It was in the cart. Okay, yeah. never mind. She found it. It looks like blue in the cart. Yeah. Here's the other one. Take it back. A new one. Okay, no, nope, never mind. So Courtney found our lilac, but we'll finish with the with the peach here, the peach fuzz, um, which was previously called Angel Flesh. Um, so if you have Angel Flesh, it's the same color. They just renamed it last year. Um, so I'm just getting her face covered up where there was any orange or red on it or purple. We'll just get that touched up here a little bit. I'm leaning down again. Okay, we'll move her back up. <laughs> I'm just getting the peach fudge, covering up everything that's shouldn't be orange or purple or red. And that's on her face, and then we'll do her little hands next too. And I need a little more. So if you guys, um, anybody that got the little girl witch, if you do have trouble painting her because you're not painting along tonight, you can always take a picture and, and message me and we'll help you out with her. So we need a little bit on her hands here just to bring that color back out a little bit. I'm just using a little brush and tapping really lightly to just build that peach back, peach fuzz back up. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll put that aside. Whoop, I'm tipping things over here. Hold on. Okay, so we were at our lilac. We're going to highlight our girl just a little bit more. So I have lilac OS450. That color tends to separate quite a bit, so you want to make sure you shake that up good. Um, 
Cordy says all the purples do. That's probably true. So we'll go with our lilac just a little bit. I'm going to go back to my dirty purple brush that I was using and work some lilac in there. Brush it out. And I just want just a little bit on the edge edges. It's just going to give her that much more um, life or magic. And a little bit on her little a little fold down here by the kitty. Just so that the light's kind of shining right on it. And the same on the other side. Got this nice fold ruffle right there. And the light just would be hitting that and getting that just a little bit brighter than the rest of it. You want your brush pretty dry when you're doing that and you just keep brushing and brushing until you build it up. So it's a nice soft, nice soft look to it. And actually I'm going to go right around the whole very bottom of it. Just get this, that little bit of magical light, light touch to it. And I'm just getting it right on the rim. And it's just enough to add a lot of, a lot of life to the piece. And we'll get a little more. And we'll go on the very top of our little hat up here where the light's really going to be hitting it. Right at the peak. And then right at the peak of the rounded part. And I'm just brushing really lightly just to build that lilac up just a little bit like it's a little magical light. Um, so the Peach Fuzz is um, OS492, and that um, was, used to be called um, Angel Flesh. It's got a little bit of a pink, peachy look to it. They renamed all, most of their flesh colors. Um, yeah, Cordy says they renamed most of their flesh colors. That was last year already. Um, one is Cargo Pants, one is Rosy Tan, Smoke Salmon. Um, Smoke Salmon, and then this Peach Fuzz, which was the Angel Flesh which is the one I kind of use that one a lot because it's got just a little peachy um, look to it. So I'm going to go just around the edge of her little hat here too. Just barely getting it. And that's with our lilac. And you can see it, it kind of just adds enough light to it that it looks like the, like the moonlight is hitting it. And it's just right along the rim. And that was a little more than I wanted, but that's okay. It's on the side there. Courtney's yawning over there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she says. <laughs> so just working our, working our way around with our lilac right on the rim. And it's just a shade lighter, and it just gives that much more life to it. So there she is. She's not looking too boring. We're gonna do just a little sweep on the top of her arms here. With the lilac, both sides, and a little bit on her collar, just brushing real gently across it. And that just gives that a little stand out. So that's looking pretty good. Do a little more here, a little more there. A little more on her inside here where it would be lighter underneath. And maybe a little more up here. Okay, there we go. So that looks pretty good. Um, so now I did get my um, lilac and purple down onto my grape. Uh, so I'm actually just going to take my little number one flat and go back into my grape and I can come back and touch that up a little bit. Just 
work that up to the where the collar meets the dress so it's not coming down onto the dress and looking like it's slopped all over. You can go back and touch that up a little bit if you need to. And that just makes that look better, neater. Okay, so now we have our cat. We're, what, we're leaving him black, I guess, huh? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do, what color are we doing his little, what color did everyone decide? Silver? Silver? Three silvers, okay, let's see if we can find some silver here. I should have silver too. Silver might be in that other bucket, Courtney, for the October box. Uh, it should be here. It's over there. Where? Oh, you moved it already? Okay, so we have our Duncan Ultra Metallic Silver. And we'll give that a good shake. And we'll just need a little puddle of that. And I'm actually going to use a liner brush to paint that out. So I'm going to use my 495-50 liner instead of dry brushing it. We'll just kind of paint that on. Instead of getting the silver all over. and We'll just paint it. I don't know, it might have been cuter with the orange. So anyone can, you can change the color if you want, of course. And we'll paint his little bow on the sides. Can you look at Clay Magic to see what they did with the spider? Or just show me a picture of him. Well, I guess the silver looks kind of magical too. Oh, the spider's green? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. I've never seen a green spider. But it would add color. And the kitty's all orange? Oh boy. Orange and striped? Well, I guess it don't matter what colors we do. There is a bigger version of her. Oh, Cordy says there is a bigger version of her. Uh, oh. 35, 50, 14 and a half inches tall. Oh, a 14 inch one. We might have to get that one one day. Yeah. She's cute. What is she holding or doing? A uh, bat and a wooden spoon. Oh, so she's got a bat and a spoon. That's and cute. There's a frog and a cat. Oh, and a frog? Okay, that's kind of cute. So I just painted out the silver on her, on his little, the kitty's little bow. Um, I guess he's different than the other one. So let's see, then we have our, um, we have our spider to do. And Cordy says he's green on, yeah. on the Play Magic page, but I don't, I don't know if we should make him green. Maybe we'll just highlight it with some green. Um, so we'll use our Mako Lime Burst 376. And we're just going to highlight our little spider with some green. So let's see. I'm going to need a little brush here. I'm going to run out of little brushes. I got my size 3 flat. And then I'm just going to dip in my Mako Lime Burst and brush it out. And we're just going to kind of highlight our little spider with some green just to give him some color. Still kind of keep him black. Most of our spiders are green. Oh, Cordy says most of the spiders on Clay Magic are green. There's some purple. There's a purple one. He looks okay green. with the green highlighted on him here, I think. Yeah, I think he'll be alright with the green highlights. It's kind of a, a limey, fluorescent, glow in the dark, scary kind of a thing. We'll just get some green on him. Work it out to the purple here a little bit. And down to the hands. And get a little more. And 
come to the other side and do the same thing. Well, he's kind of cute green. So there we got ourselves a green spider. What color are his eyes? Huh? Red? Black? Creepy? Yeah, he looks... Red would be creepy. Oh, so there we have ourselves a little green spider. He's kind of cute. I do want to come back and touch up my kitty. I have purple on him, so I want to get some black around. Come around and get that black um, touched up a little bit where the purples are. And that's black brown, that's not black, so we need black. So we'll go to our OS476 black. And I'm just going to need a drop. Put that aside, dip my brush in there. Brush it out. And I just want to work my way around my kitty so that he doesn't have all that purple on his head. From dry brushing. Just make him look nice and purpley or nice and black, spooky. Okay, so we'll put that aside. And we will take our little liner brush and dip in our black, give our Spider some black eyes so he looks kind of weird, funky, scary. So we'll just give him his little black eyes here. Let's see. We'll actually take our black, my brush and dip it in the black and kind of thin it out so it's like ink. And I'll run that along my whiskers on my just to darken those up because they have some of the gray or the grape in there from dry brushing. So if you um, dip your brush in the water and just get a drop of paint on it and then put it in your black and just stir it a little bit, you can get that nice inky um, thinness so that you can kind of paint those little thin lines like that. And from there, we will go to doing her eyes. Um, so if you guys liked tonight, tonight's video, give us a like or a thumbs up or something so we know you liked our little extra tonight. Um, we're just going to finish up the eyes here quick yet. And we'll be doing the same, our same usual eye technique that we did on our flyer that was in the August box and that is on our piggy bank um, video so you can always refer to that it's the same eye um, it's just a smaller version of it so I'm just working my black in there and then her mouth actually is a little washed out with the black so I'm going to Use that watered out um, black and just come right through the middle of her um, lips there to give her that black line back in there. She kind of lost her depth in her lips. Now I probably got it too much. So I can take it and actually kind of blot it out. So you want to have that really thin, thinned out black ink when you do that. Oh, I got it way too much now. Sometimes you got to leave well enough alone. So I'm just going to dip my brush in water and just use water to kind of clean that out. So it's not as strong as it was. And now we'll go to our white. Our eye is dry, so we have, I have OS431 white. And we'll get a drop of white. And we'll dip into the water and put a drop into our white and just make a little puddly 
pile of ink. And we'll take that and we'll do our crescent shaped area of the white from about 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock or 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. You want to rest your piece in your hand which is rested on the table and you want to rest your painting hand on your piece so you have a nice non-shaky um, piece. So try to get those nice little lines. And you don't worry about the inside part of the eye. We're only worried about where the black and the white are meeting on the outside. I don't want too much black. I don't want to look, make her look like she's got black eyes. Come from 11 o'clock down. I'm leaving just a little bit of white black around the outside. of the outline of her eye. Um, so the one has more black than the other one so I'm going to try to bring this one down a little bit further. So what color eyes do people with um, reddish hair usually have? Courtney, no? Green? Blue? I normally would normally do blue, but I don't know if they have blue eyes. So I'm just touching up my white because it's thinned out a little bit, and I want a little extra coat of white here, so I don't see the black through it. Any luck with that? Blue. No, that's very rare. Blue is rare. Yeah. Well, I wonder what color we need. I don't know if we want brown. That won't be very noticeable. Oh, hold on. I left out the eye. Oh, left out the word eye. Well, that isn't going to give us much. Okay, well, while she's doing that, I'm going to give us some lips. The majority of our Oh, green. Brown, hazel oh. or green eyes. Hazel or green, okay. Um, hazel, what color do we got for hazel? And the red hair only occurs in 1 to 2% of the population. And red hair only occurs in 1 to 2% of the population. So is hazel, you think the rainforest I green? Huh, green? All right, we got some green. All right, guys, thanks. We got some green. I'm going to actually use the Rainforest Green 544. So we'll get a drop of that. I'll dip my brush in the water and make that a little bit thin. So like I said, I hadn't painted her before tonight, so... Now we will do our green crescent like we usually do our blue crescent. And I won't talk when I'm doing that so I can get a nice line here. And we'll do the other side. Only 1% has hazel green eyes. Is that what you're saying, Courtney? Because I have no, I have hazel green eyes. One per one to two percent of the population for red hair. Oh, for red hair. So I want to look at my eyes and see that the white and the green are the same areas on both eyes. It looks like on my left eye it needs to come down just a little bit further. I mean, if you're happy with it, you could have left it where it was too. And again, I just worried about where the green is touching the white, not where the inside part is. So that looks pretty good. Clean up my brush and go to my black, and then I'll fill in the top half of the eye here as soon as that's dry. And give her nice little irises. Actually, that's a pretty good eye color, that rainforest. I like it. Cordy says she likes it. So we're going to get our black part in, maybe let a little more green than usual just because it's a little bit darker color.
looks pretty good. And we'll leave a crescent shaped green on each eye. And you kind of want the green area to match on each eye from one side to the other, just like with the white. You got to get the top here. And then I want to look, and they look pretty good. One's a little more pointy than the other one. Kind of got sad looking eyes. Bring this other one up a little bit further to match. Oh. Well, Cordy says she's sad because Halloween's only one day of the year. So now I'm going to take my brush and dip it into that watered out ink. I actually touched it on the paper towel just a little bit and I'm going to do a couple eyelashes. So to do that I will go into the black and then come out and just give her like three little tiny eyelashes. And we'll do that on both sides. And I'm did it dip back into the paint? There should be enough in here. Because you don't want too much. So there she's got some little eyelashes. We'll wash that out. And we'll go to our Garnet Red 480. And I just need a little tiny drop. And I'm going to dip into my um, water and stir that up and get it kind of inky. And kind of water watercolorish, kind of like watercolor paint. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, so it's it's real thin. You can see through it. And then I'm going to touch it onto my paper towel. And now I can run that along her lip line here, and not get it too too reddish. Cory just says to go upish. Um, so I just used that watercolor from made from the Garnet Red. Um, touched my brush on the paper towel to get some of it out so it's not too much. And then just went in her little lip line here. And I can do that again with, um, take another little piece of that watercolor and move it over and grab a little more water and thin it out just a little bit more touch on my paper towel and you can use chalk or you can um, use that for her little cheeky colors. Actually I need a bigger brush I think. I'm going to dip in my water and just get a little bit. Just give her some rosy cheeks here. You can use the chalk or you can thin out your pink or your garnet red and use that for the little cheeky color. One's really high and one's really low here. So I'm actually going to go back to my uh, peach fuzz color. And I can tone that down then. So I have my peach fuzz 492 and I'm going to do the same thing, dip in my water and kind of thin that out. I can just brush right over the top of that. <clears throat> I need a little more water. And you're kind of treating it like a watercolor. And you can tone down that garnet red a little bit. But still have that kind of coming through. I have the one a little bit redder than I want it. So you can put that peach under there, or put the peach fuzz over the top of your um, cheek color and that will just tone it down a little bit and it will still be there. And I did that by 
dipping my brush into the water and then into the, my peach fuzz and making like a little watercolor um, paint out of it. You can see it's just barely in there. And then you just wipe over your, your blush color and it just tones it down a lot. So that looks pretty good. We'll let that there. We'll dip our little liner brush, our, four nine, our 595 liner and give a little white dot or even a little comma in her eye at one o'clock. And we gotta give this one a little bit better. And we'll give a little white dot in each little spider eye. And I will put a little dot at the top of each of my little commas. And if you want, you can put a little dot down like at about seven o'clock in the green. Just a little tiny one. You don't want it too big because then it'll look like it don't belong there. And I think that's pretty much it for that. So you could then seal her. Um, I would use the matte sealer. And then if you wanted glitter on her, we would use our gloss sealer our gloss brush on sealer, um, which is um, either the matte or the gloss. I grabbed the matte, um, 954 is the matte. And wherever you wanted glitter, um, say you want glitter on her ribbon, just take your um, nylon painting brush, I'll use my size four, and dip it in my um, brush on sealer. And where do we want the glitter? Like all over the bow or just Parts of it? Parts of the loopy parts? And so we put that brush on sealer right where we want our red glitter. Um, we can use whatever you want. We're going to use red because the bow is red. Um, I usually put it over a paper plate, but I'll put it over my foil here. That'll work. And then you just sprinkle your glitter where you put your sealer. And then you can tip it off just on the bow part. Do you want some more? Um, I think I don't know, bottom the fan. bottom fan yeah. part. So we'll put some on the little bow parts here. And the back hair one. And Courtney says the back hair one. You just sprinkle it on that wherever you brushed your brush on sealer. And she wants some on the back. So we'll do kind of the same, same thing. Just brush it on where you want it. Make it turn more. More? <laughs> <laughs> Mary likes glitter. Ah. And the sealer does go, brush on sealer does go on white, but it dries clear. She won't see it. Oh, that looks kind of cute. I think we do need more on the bow on top. Okay. You're ginger with it. I'm ginger with it? We'll put some more on here. We'll put some more on. So you can use any glitter that you want, but um, we just had red, so that's what we're using. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll add a little more. I think she's right. Yeah, so she likes it too. She likes it too? Yeah. Glitter? Jason would kick us out of the house if he knows we were using glitter, you guys. I was thinking of the planer, but now there's glitter on it. <laughs> so I'm just going to glitter her up here a little bit more. So like I said, it's white and it, it does dry clear, so. All right, we got her glittered up now. There, that's much better, huh? Maybe a little more down here. So don't dip your brush into your pot, your sealer, just like I did, because now I have glitter in it. I'll have to wipe that out. So I think that, that looks pretty good. She looks pretty, pretty sassy. So there's our little do the band too. The band too. <laughs> oh. 
Well, we got enough. We can do it. We'll just go with the flow here tonight. Pour this into something else. Why don't I keep dipping my brush into the sealer? Oh, it'll just give her some more. <laughs> yeah, I kind of went all out now, Mary. Ooh, ooh. Let the party start. Okay, look at that. And probably a little more on the back then too, right? Mary's going to call her the Glitter Queen. It does look better with more though. Changed it, yeah. All right, so we'll get some more on the back here. Shirley from Too Pretty to Be a Witch. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like more glitter on it. Put a little more up here. I would just go ahead and cover the whole bow with glitter. Just skip the little. A little bit. Just go go all out because it, it really uh, makes her pop. It does. Yeah. And we might as well get a little more on the front where we missed it here. What the heck? Because it, it does. It really it really makes her. Um, it makes her. <laughs> Gotta say it does. So we'll put some more on. Um, so Courtney asked if it has to set up for a whole day. No, maybe like 10 minutes. So there, yeah, that's way better. All that nice glitter on her. So look at there. There we got the nice little girly with all glittered up. And I see a couple little shallow spots, so we'll put a little more on. Claire said, <laughs> Yeah, we're going all out. I would say go all out. It's worth it. Looks way better than just a little. So there you go. We got our little girl all done. It's a nice little additional thing for you guys to have. So just let her dry then like for about 10 minutes and she should be good to go. The kitty might even be good with silver on him. I might even do that. Um, on the kitty's bow. Oops, sorry. Cordy says we should do it. All right, we'll do it. Go up a little bit. Go up a little, all right. So we're going to jazz it up a little more. We're going to put some silver on the kitty. And it's just the same thing. Use the uh, brush on sealer, whether it's gloss or matte, it doesn't matter. You're just using it as a, a glue, basically. So am I going to go up further? Mm -hmm. There. Mm -hmm. I'm just brushing on the, the brush on sealer. You just want to use, it can be the matte or the gloss, it doesn't matter. And we'll sprinkle our silver on. Oh yeah, he needed that. That makes him pop way. Oh, that's cute, you guys. Look at that. Definitely. Yeah? I wish I had some. <laughs> so there you go. So we got our kitty with glitter. We got our girl with glitter. Looks awesome. So there's your little girl extra for the month. Courtney's little birthday treat. She got glittered up. Kitty's glittered up. Looks good. Um, so I think that's about it for tonight. Um, your boxes... Huh? A free PDF for her. Um, there will be a free PDF coming for her. It'll be on Brenda's brushstrokesandbiz.com um, under the resource tab, and you'll be able to download it. Just give Courtney a couple days um, to get caught up here because she did come and help paint, so now she's behind a little bit on stuff. And that was just regular glitter. Um, and that's just regular glitter, kind of the um, diamond dust glitter you can buy like at Joann's or Walmart or Hobby Lobby. It's a really fine, really fine glitter. It's not chunky glitter. Um, so, yeah, that's that little thing. Um, so try to dump your sealer out onto a little, onto your paper plate or something, or your styrofoam plate. Don't d dip your brush into it like I did. I didn't have a um, styrofoam plate here tonight because I didn't realize we were going to glitter but that's usually what I do instead of dipping your brush in there so you get all the glitter in your in your um, container so I think that's about it
Um, Courtney's birthday is Wednesday, so she says to watch for some kind of a giveaway. Um, we'll, we'll draw Thursday night. And we will draw on Thursday night. During the live. During the live, when we will start our September box, which is our Monster Mania box. Um, otherwise, you'll probably be seeing a few pictures of... Um, from the farmhouse because I will be over there painting the next two days. And here's our Monster Mania guys. We still do have some of these if um, anyone wants to order them yet. I'm trying not to get glitter all over them as she's handing them to me. Um, so here's our Monster Monsters. And we will be painting those starting next Thursday. And if you still want to get a box, we still do have boxes. So just go on Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bist.com and you can purchase them. If you want to add extras on, just let Courtney know and she'll add them on. Um, I think that's about it, really. Um, hope birthday. you guys have a great week. What? I think it's Kim's birthday, too. Kim's birthday, too. Well, happy birthday, too. Um, so I think that's about it. Watch for pictures of what's going on because, like I said, we'll be at the classroom doing some work and maybe we'll have a final final picture by Sunday. That would be great. Otherwise, have a great week, you guys. See you next week and we'll be painting Monster Mania. Good night.